Hi y'all, this is Charity from Frog Crochet, and our devotion today is Remade to Witness in Words. But you are chosen, a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellence of of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2, 9 Describe yourself in 25 words or less. Will you mention your name and tell about your family? Or maybe name your occupation or identify where you grew up, it's probably safe to say that you wouldn't include the words of First Peter 2 9, and yet this is who you are. Through the atoning work of Jesus, believers in the Savior are welcomed into the family of God. Our enthusiasm Our ethnicity, sorry, our ethnicity is irrelevant. We are now, through Jesus, God's chosen race. Believers in Christ share his regal bloodline as part of the royal priesthood we are free to approach God, our Heavenly Father, without an intercessory. Picture the Spirit searching for you as you freely or fearfully sit in the absolute darkness of your sin. Now see Jesus reaching down into the dark pit of eternal death and extending his nail-scarred hand to pluck you out. The light is so marvelous that at first you can't bear it. Suddenly you hear your heavenly Father declaring, your mind now forever darkness to light we no longer cower in fear we stand tall because we're forgiven deliverance brings overwhelming gratitude and something more it's the urge to tell about it coming from darkness into god's marvelous light Believers in Jesus are proclaimers, witnesses to the ex excellency of God. Look and see what God's word has to say about witnessing through our words. Pray also for us that God may open to see our that God may open to us a door for the word to declare the mystery of Christ. Colossians 4, 3. Pray for a witnessing opportunity. Often a chance to talk about faith springs from what's going on in your life, in the life of a friend, or in the world. Watch for the Spirit to provide an opportunity for a natural witness, an honest, transparent, and humble witness. Tell your faith story. It's evident, evidently connected to the story of Jesus, the Savior. I'm not ashamed 
of this good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes. Romans 1 16. Pray that the Holy Spirit will work through your witnessing words to create faith in your listener's heart. Remember who you are in Christ. You are chosen, royal, and holy. And most important of all, you are his and our prayer today is holy spirit give me the opportunity the courage and just the right words to speak about jesus today some people you bring to mind right now all righty that is our devotion for today and I hope y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye, y'all.